Edwards syndrome is a chromosomal disorder caused by the presence of all, or part of, an extra 18th chromosome. This genetic condition almost always results from non-disjunction during meiosis. It is named after John Hilton Edwards, who first described the syndrome in 1960. It is the second most common autosomal trisomy, after Down syndrome, that carries to term. Edwards syndrome occurs in around 1 in 6,000 live births, and around 80% of those affected are female. The majority of fetuses with the syndrome die before birth. The incidence increases as the mother's age increases. The syndrome has a very low rate of survival, resulting from heart abnormalities, kidney malformations, and other internal organ disorders. Signs and Symptoms Children born with Edwards syndrome may have some or all of these characteristics, kidney malformations, structural heart defects at birth, intestines protruding outside the body, esophageal atresia, intellectual disability, developmental delays, growth deficiency, feeding difficulties, breathing difficulties, and arthrogryposis. Some physical malformations associated with Edwards syndrome include small head accompanied by a prominent back portion of the head, low set, malformed ears, abnormally small jaw, cleft lip cleft palate, upturned nose, narrow eyelid folds, widely spaced eyes, drooping of the upper eyelids, a short breastbone, clenched hands, choroid plexus cysts, underdeveloped thumbs and or nails, absent radius, webbing of the second and third toes clubfoot or rocker bottom feet, and in males, undescended testicles. In utero, the most common characteristic is cardiac anomalies, followed by central nervous system anomalies such as head shape abnormalities. The most common intracranial anomaly is the presence of choroid plexus cysts, which are pockets of fluid on the brain. These are not problematic in themselves, but their presence may be a marker for trisomy 18. Sometimes, Excess amniotic fluid or polyhydramnios is exhibited. Genetics Edwards syndrome is a chromosomal abnormality characterized by the presence of an extra copy of genetic material on the 18th chromosome either in whole or in part. The additional chromosome usually occurs before conception. The effects of the extra copy vary greatly, depending on the extent of the extra copy, genetic history, and chance. Edwards syndrome occurs in all human populations, but is more prevalent in female offspring. A healthy egg and or sperm cell contains individual chromosomes, each of which contributes to the 23 pairs of chromosomes needed to form a normal cell with a typical human karyotype of 46 chromosomes. Numerical errors can arise at either of the two meiotic divisions and cause the failure of a chromosome to segregate into the daughter cells. This results in an extra chromosome making the haploid number 24 rather than 23. Fertilization of eggs or insemination by sperm that contain an extra chromosome results in trisomy, or three copies of a chromosome rather than two. Trisomy 18 is caused by a meiotic non-disjunction event. With non-disjunction, a gamete is produced with an extra copy of chromosome 18. The gamete thus has 24 chromosomes. When combined with a normal gamete from the other parent, the embryo has 47 chromosomes, with three copies of chromosome 18. A small percentage of cases occur when only some of the body's cells have an extra copy of chromosome 18, resulting in a mixed population of cells with a differing number of chromosomes. Such cases are sometimes called mosaic Edwards syndrome. Very rarely. A piece of chromosome 18 becomes attached to another chromosome before or after conception. Affected individuals have two copies of chromosome 18 plus extra material from chromosome 18 attached to another chromosome. With a translocation, a person has a partial trisomy for chromosome 18, and the abnormalities are often less severe than for the typical Edwards syndrome. Prognosis, Indiana, 2008-2009 495 diagnoses of Edwards syndrome were made in England and Wales, 92% of which were made prenatally, resulting in 339 abortions, 49 stillbirths fetal deaths, 72 unknown outcomes, and 35 live births. Because about 3% of cases with unknown outcomes are likely to result in a live birth, the total number of live births is estimated to be 37. 
major causes of death include apnea and heart abnormalities. It is impossible to predict an exact prognosis during pregnancy or the neonatal period. Half of infants with this condition do not survive beyond the first week of life. The median lifespan is 5 to 15 days. About 8% of infants survive longer than one year. 1% of children live to age 10, typically in less severe cases of the Mosaic Edwards syndrome. Epidemiology Edwards syndrome occurs in about 1 in 6,000 live births, but more conceptions are affected by the syndrome because the majority of those diagnosed with a condition prenatally will not survive the prenatal period. Although women in their 20s and early 30s may conceive babies with Edwards syndrome, the risk of conceiving a child with it increases with a woman's age. The average maternal age for conceiving a child with this disorder is 32 or one half. See also, 18Q deletion syndrome, references. External links, Trisomy 18 Foundation, Inc. Soft USA Support Organization for Trisomy 18, 13, and Related Disorders, Trisomy 18 Support Program, Chromosome 18 Clinical Research Center. Soft UK Support Organization for Trisomy 13-18 and Related Disorders, the Chromosome 18 Registry and Research Society, Perinatal Hospice Care, Preparing for Birth and Death, Humpeth No. 5389.